الله الكبير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين الله الكبير I'm directing all of our thanks and appreciations to to God, the all gracious, the all merciful, and this is a unique opportunity for us to commemorate him and and extol his name and follow his instructions and his commandments. And so this is a unique uh, time for us and it the maximum of all the endeavors that we do during the week it's really um ends up in this in this point at this point and um uh, Friday prayers and so we do this in a congregation congregational manner and and we are uh really honored and and uh, uh pleased to do this and uh, so uh, we should we should uh, cherish this time um <clears throat> what i wanted uh to mention again is that appreciativeness and gratefulness is a godlike quality and and so we have to respond in kind to god and be appreciative and grateful and thankful to him for all of the good things that he has provided for us and remember that the bad things that happen to us is because of our own uh shortcomings and so it's our own fault our own hands brought it upon ourselves and so we should we should be uh grateful and and uh and appreciative uh, of God's blessings upon us. Um <clears throat> uh today what I wanted to to discuss um and uh, I want to go to to verse uh verse 30 uh and uh, and um of chapter 2 uh the heifer and so and god says when your lord said to the angels that i am the appointer of a vice gerent on the land they said will you appoint someone therein who will spread corruption and shed blood while we glorify and praise you and consider you sacred he said i have complete knowledge while you do not know so um uh god is not afraid of questions god is not afraid of somebody asking is is uh wisdom they have they have freedom of speech and so they have they have freedom of expression if you will and the angels exercise that so this should be a lesson to all of the dictators and the would be dictators all of those people who do not who do not listen to others who cannot stand criticism who cannot stand questions and and so it should be a lesson to all of us let's put it that way okay but this is god and he's talking to his creation namely to the angels in this case okay and they have the absolute freedom of expression and um they are asking god's wisdom they are questioning god's wisdom and he is very gently he says he says he said i have the complete knowledge while you do not know and this did not go without proof God presented proof to them why he's making this decision. He did not go say okay because I'm telling you this this is the way it's supposed to be. No. He presents proof to the angels. Okay? And in God says he taught Adam all the names. This is this is the the tools that Adam needed to be vice gerent on the land 
Okay, this word Khalifa has been mentioned only twice in this Quran, and I'm going to discuss it. Okay, so you'll, you'll understand the wisdom behind it and what we are supposed to do with this knowledge that God has given us. Okay, so he ta- taught Adam all the names. Afterwards, he presented them to the angels and said, inform me of these names if you are true soul. Okay, so you ask that question, you question that, that decision that I made, and now it's time for you to tell me all these names. And now what they are saying is that they said, glory be to you, you have no, we have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Indeed, you are the all-known, the all-wise. This again goes back to the fact that the knowledge that we have is coming from God alone. Okay? Including the knowledge that we have, he said, and he taught Adam all the names. The names that were taught to Adam came from God. That knowledge came from God. So nobody has any knowledge except what God is giving them. And we do not recognize that. Okay? I've said this over and over and over again, because you think that if you go to a better school than this school or that school, if you go to Harvard and everything, you got it made. You have the knowledge. That's not, that's not how you do it. God is the one who gives you the knowledge. And he's telling you right here. But as I said, we go over these verses and we do not learn our lessons. Okay. They said, glory be to you. We have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Indeed, you are the all-knowing, the all-wise. Then God says to Adam, and he said, oh, Adam, inform them of their names. Once he informed them of the names, he said, Did I not tell you that I fully know the secret of the vacuum and matter? And fully know what you declare, what you conceal? So God, that time, had the knowledge that there are some opposition to this entire thing, to the entire establishment that God wanted to create. Namely, put Adam as a vicegerent on the land. And he had the tools that God had taught him in order to, to fulfill that mission. But God still knew that there was some concealment there amongst the angels. And that exposed immediately. Then God said, Then when we said to the angels that honor Adam, they all honored him. Except Iblis who refused, he turned arrogant and became a disbeliever. Okay? So out of this this infinite multitude of angels, one didn't like it. One still had questions about God's wisdom. And so, now, what I want to do is I want to go and see what we can do with this knowledge that God has given us. Okay, so, here, as you see in the corner on on your screen, it says, two. I mean, there are two mentions of Khalifa. And then I go to the second one. And now here it says, this is the first one. And if there we go. Now God is talking to David. This is thirty eight twenty six. Then when we 
O oh, David, David, we have indeed made you a vicegerent on the land. Therefore, what are, what are the instructions that God is giving him? That's what you have to remember here in this verse. Rule amongst people equitably and do not follow your ego. Lest it will divert you from the pack of God. So we have to use the knowledge that God has given us for good, not for evil. Okay? And the knowledge that God has given us can be used either way. Okay? So God is telling us, he says, do not follow your ego. You have to rule amongst people equitably lest it will divert you from the path of God. Indeed, those who are diverted from the path of God have incurred the ultimate suffering because they have forgotten the day of reckoning. Okay. So this is the price that we have to pay for that knowledge that God has given us. We have to do this on God's behalf. You have all these freedoms and you can choose and do things. We have to deal with people equitably. We are not supposed to be biased or prejudiced. We have to, we have to go according to God's laws that he has declared for us. We have to implement those laws in our own lives, dealing with our own families, our own relatives, and our own acquaintances and friends. So the knowledge that is given us is supposed to be used for good. This is the price that we have to pay. And so, as I said, this has, been, this has been mentioned only twice. The word Khalifa has been mentioned twice. Okay? In the entire Quran. This is the second one and the last one, which God is talking to David here. And he's telling him what to do with this, with this title that he has given him. Okay? This goes for me and you and everybody else. Because all of us at some level we have that responsibility. How to use the knowledge that God has given us. And we have to use it for good. We have to deal with people the way that God meant us to deal with them, not the way that we want to deal with them. Okay? Do not follow our own ego, because our ego is going to put us first. That you are, you are the top, you are the most important thing, you are the first, and you don't care about everybody else. Who cares what happens to the other people? God's method, method and his system is in such a way, designed in such a way that we have to care about each other. That's what God is talking in the world unto us. But how to make a better person out of yourself and how to share the blessings that God has given you with others. And that's called charity. So that knowledge has to be tempered. Okay. So we would not use our own ego to implement that knowledge. And use it in the wrong way. This is what God has given us. That's the that's the uh, 
that's the responsibility that God has given us that the others don't have. A vacuum and matter do not have that responsibility. They go exactly according to God's commandments. Okay? We know the names. And with that comes a lot of responsibility. And we cannot use the knowledge that God has given us for evil. And a lot of us do that. Okay? That's what the do's and don'ts coming in God's commandments. That you shall do this and thou shalt not do this. And again, God has given us the knowledge of good and evil. That's part of the knowledge. And we know exactly what good is and what bad is. And we have to get our ego out of this equation, out of this calculus, and say, look, we're going to throw it out and we are going to do exactly what God is telling us to do. That's exactly what David did. Okay. This is God's way of doing things. And so we have to be careful because we have a huge responsibility. Today we have a responsibility that we want to choose between commemorating God or do not commemorate God. We know that the number we dial today for the, the site that we log on to commemorates God. And so we have an option to log on or do not log on. Our ego probably says, no, this is all a bunch of hooey, so we don't log on. Or we already know this stuff. We won't log on. There's another knowledge that says, you cannot commemorate God enough. You have to do it more and more and more and more. And there are examples of it in the Quran. And we have to follow the paradigms that God has set out for us. And we have to follow. So this is, this is a few things for us to remember and abide by and go along with God's system and see what God is telling us. I'm going to stop here and we'll finish this unit. Allah will carry you.